Got it. And inside there's... crowd control since 2055. Hallucigen gas can stop a riot faster than... Nice. Any other product on the market, and without the messy side effects of our competitors' offerings. Use with caution. Unpredictable sensory experiences may result. Subjects exposed to high dosages may suffer catastrophic adrenal failure. you decide to change your life. We're always looking for new members. I have those chemical formulas for you. Marvelous. Now we can reform another societal picadillo. The hydration break. Whether it rears its head around the coffee pot, water cooler, or soda fountain, it's a menace. vault -Tec scientists have conducted experiment after experiment to eliminate this inefficiency. But people feel an irrational need to... socialize. So, if they must squander their time, let us turn it into the collective good. With chemistry. What? Aren't chemicals bad for you? Oh, Clem. You worry so much, my boy. Everything you eat and drink is made of chemicals, don't you know? Oh, <laughs> right. That's very interesting, Lady Overseer. 
These are just special chemicals. What type of chemicals are we talking about? Well, that's up to you. But from what I've read, the R&D folks really outdid themselves. Let's get started. So build the soda fountain, and then serve refreshments to our residents. And Clem, if you get thirsty on the job, Feel free to have a cool, refreshing beverage. Gee, thanks. The soda fountain shows enormous potential. Depends. How much does it cost? Oh, it's free. Really? Well, I guess then. The I'd like to trade right? some items. Go ahead. It's funny. <laughs> Make sure to come back. Not a bad job, manning the soda fountain.
You here to check up? I got a customer right here. You're back! Oh, yeah, this vault's amazing. <laughs> just great. Wow. Yeah, just great. It's so great, I don't even know what I'm saying. Neither do I. The soda fountain shows enormous potential. Hey. To think we've turned the simple soda fountain into something noble. Ah, it fills me with pride. On to the next prototype. Ugh, the Hippocratic Oath. A solemn vow to do no harm. Well, roughly, that's what it means. I don't want to get into interpreting dusty Latin textbooks, but that core sentiment of the medical community runs counter to what we're trying to accomplish here. Doctors shouldn't put their patients' welfare first. Instead, their sole focus should be the collective good. You understand, of course. Let's stop with the Philosophy 101, and get to the job. Of course. So, enter the Vault-Tec Foraptor. A specialized piece of optometrist equipment that, yes, can improve a patient's eyesight. But, potentially so much more. The prototype requires a bit, well, a lot. All right, a staggering quantity of radioactive material. But the results will be worth it. Nuclear material, you say? Huh. What could go wrong? I know. It's foolproof. But don't fret about the nuclear material. We chose this site for Vault 88 because our surveys indicate that there's a rich source of uranium deeper inside the caves. So, dig deep and get what we need. Excuse me. I cannot wait to see how the Foropter turns out. Hey. I cannot wait to see how the Foropter turns out. Valerie. I'm looking forward to checking on Clem and the optometrist station. I just want to trade a few things. Yummy soda. <laughs> Now, we just need a volunteer for the Foropter.
Hey. Point the way. Over here. Yep. Anybody need help with anything? like we have our first patient yes before we begin Clem how do you feel about children uh they're all right I guess you ever planning on having any I, I don't know why are you asking just idle chatter Go on. Hi, you here for an eye exam with the four... This thing? I guess. Go ahead and get in. So, what do I do? Just stay still. So I just sit here? Yeah, yeah. The machine will do the rest. This thing's creeping me out. All done. It says you got, uh, a minor eye infection. Some eye drops will clear it up. Uh, thanks. And that's it? Nothing else? No. Lady Overseer, exam's all done. Yeah, excuse me. I never had an eye exam before. It wasn't so bad, I guess. Why are you doing this stuff, anyhow? I don't have a good answer for that. Just curious. So I need eye drops, huh? All uh, right. After Clem going crazy on that damn power cycle, are you guys some sort of sickos? It's not what you think. <laughs> you can't talk your way out of this, pal. At least up in the Commonwealth, everyone's up front about trying to kill you or rip you off. Come on, Clem. Let's leave. These guys are assholes. But I've got a job now. I'm an optim... I run the eye machine. I can't leave. Run while you can, Clem. I wish I had never even heard of this vault. Some people complain, but not me. Just happy to be here. So, one of our residents left. Well, it'll be easy enough to replace her. The important thing is that our work is progressing admirably. She could be the first of many to flee this vault. If it becomes too big a problem, vaults are designed to be closed, you know. Anyway, this last experiment is my pride and joy. Following in the footsteps of Dr. Braun and the others, I have spent my time devising my very own prototype. Its premise is this. We are all flawed creatures. Each with our own vices. What if our vault didn't pointlessly try to stamp out these predilections and instead harnessed them? What vices are you talking about? Well, greed. The schematic is for a slot machine. I designed it to be as enticing as possible. Choose the experimental parameters, and let's see how it fares in the field.
Some people complain, but not me. Just happy to be here. I just want to trade a few things. I'll, I'll do well. Promise. Let's trade some things. Of course. Got it. You've got some pre-war money? Come on! I could really use it for the slots. What? Is this damn thing rigged? My luck's gonna turn around. to check in with the slot machine. I can't wait. What's the angle here? Come on, it's gotta pay out sometime. <laughs> 